Good morning to everybody. Let's get started. We start with full body stretches starting from the bottom. Let's start with calf raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes. Then knee rotation. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And it was fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yes, waist rotation. Big ones. One, two, three, four. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, three, two, one, zero. Wonderful. Then twist. Yes. Then mega twist, feet together. Other side. Keep the stick. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Steel, yeah, bending front and back, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, so this is bending front and back sideways. Yes. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, cross fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Wonderful. So this is your cross. Yeah. Cross stretches. Uh, so this completes all our stretches. Now we have body breathing. We have two of them. Let's begin. Elbow. In. Okay. We have shoulders also, right? Yeah. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Shoulder clockwise. Anti clockwise. Yeah. So this is this is correct. Yes, so we have completed our body stretches now. Uh, we have uh, two body brain gyms. Let's begin. Elbow and knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wonderful. Hands and feet, two in the front, in the back. Yes, start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, two in the front, two in the back, 14, and 15, wonderful, yes, yeah. So this, uh, this completes our body brain gyms, two of them, now coming to hand, we have seven exercises, arms in one, two, three, four, Fifteen anti-clockwise. Fifteen. Yeah. So this is arm swing, arm rotation. Fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve. Wonderful. So this is your arm rotation, then shoulders. One, two. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Wonderful. Uh, arm rotation, shoulder rotation, and then bell and play. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, change. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then ninety, one eighty. Keep changing the other sides. Close open one, two, three, four, five, six. Then close open six, five, four, three, two, one. Change one, two, three, four, five, six, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Yes. So this is your uh, side. This thing, uh, robotic hands, hands side by side, nose and ears. One, three, six, twelve. And 15. Wonderful. Then, uh, Italy and Dosa is the last one. Yes, let's begin. Dosa on top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then change. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. Change one, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. So this completes all our hand exercises. Now let's begin with fingers. Yeah.
Yukta is not there. Okay. okay. Let's do the finger exercises. Yeah. Yes. Let's begin with finger exercises. Five and L. Fifteen of them. Everybody, cameras on, please. Naksh, Sherry, everybody. Thumb and pinky. Vihan, Shwetlana. Yes. Then two and three. We can't shake the coaches. Cameras on, please. Turning on the camera is the way to show that you participate. Then uh, two and two. Two and two. Two and two. Finger massage. One minute. Oh, someone pinky. We did that, my dear. Second exercise we did that. Oh, Gun and rabbit. Gun and rabbit. We'll do that. One minute of finger massage. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Yes. Now, gun and rabbit. Yes. Finger bending. Finger bending, thumbs, fully closing it till down and bending it. Now index finger. Fully till the down. Middle finger, fully till the down, press it. Press it till the bottom. Yes. Then ring finger. Then the last one is the pinky finger. Now, finger bending. Yes. Thumbs. Then, index finger. Then, middle finger. Very nice. Yavi, Cherry, Naksh, Shivani, and Ektai Kansha coaches, cameras on, please. Then, ring finger.
Last one is your little finger. Yeah, then finger clasp. Tightly, tightly. Welcome, Cherry. Welcome, Naksh. Yes, finger twist. Thumb and the index finger. Then all the fingers. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. Yes, then one and three. Yavi, camera on, please. One, two, three, four, five, then two and four. Two, four, two, four, two, four. Two four two four two four two four two four. This hand. One two three four four three two one one two three four four three two one one two three four four three two one one two three four four three two one. One two three four four three two one one two three. Then one and three. One, three, 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 two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four. Yavi, can you take over from here? We will do one to five, five to one, two to five, and then uh, finger, finger gym. These are the exercises pending. Okay, can you take care? I'll be here only. I'll be preparing for the story. Okay. I'm putting you on spotlight. Yes, coach. One and five. Two and five. Three and five. Four and five. Finger bending.
Bring a crisscross. Index finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Okay, a uh, finger alternative. Finger or uh, hook up finger alternative. Neck exercises. Neck up and down. Do it slowly. Next side by side. Neck bending. Neck rotation clockwise. Anti-clockwise.
eye exercises 20 20 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 product 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 other hand 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 product 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 factor 3 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anti clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chapter three, sorry, chapter four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other hand, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, other hand, change your side, 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन स्ट्रेचेस One, two, three, stretch. Second round. One, two, three, stretch. Third round. Let's hold for one minute. One minute challenge. One, two, three, stretch. सुपर ब्रेन योगा फेसिंग टूवर्ड ईस्ट लेफ्ट हैंड राइट इयर्स राइट हैंड लेफ्ट इयर्स व्हेन वी गो डाउन इन हेल एंड व्हेन वी कम अप एंड एक्सेल यस फोर्टीन काउंट्स स्टार्ट Butterfly. Yes. Air flaps. Yeah. Ear massages, thinking caps. Ear rotation clockwise. Anti clockwise. Ear brain gym. One clockwise, one anti clockwise. Okay. Your front and back. Alternative. Up and down.
alternative. Yes, coach, done. Dear, I had missed the finger gym. Did you do the finger gym? No, After coach. Gym. Finger gym. Kar do. Okay. Finger, finger gym. gym. Thumbs. Keeping in the shape as if there's a ball in the middle. Index finger. Anticlockwise. Middle finger clockwise. Anticlockwise. Ring finger clockwise. Anti clockwise. Little finger clockwise. Anti clockwise. Yes. Coach. Yes. Thank you so much. Big round of applause for our this for Yavi. Yesterday we had international train the trainer certification where uh Rekhaji, Ekta coach, Ekansha coach, Yavi leader, all of them completed. Can we give them a big round of applause? They completed their Wonderful presentation. It was a wonderful journey. They worked really hard. Can we give them a big round of applause? Wonderful, wonderful, fabulous. It was a wonderful workshop. Many, many workshops. Yes. Congratulations to all of you guys. And uh, let's get started with today's superb stories. Superb stories are sessions where we learn wonderful values from stories. We become thought leaders. We discuss and we understand different, different values. This is a nice, fun story. Yeah? Okay, the funny story. Enjoy this story. Okay. So this is a father and a daughter. They've been to a marketplace. The daughter is about 15, 16 year old. They went and they bought a donkey. They bought a donkey. And they were bringing the donkey from the market, going back to their own village. At that particular time, the donkey was there and the father and the daughter were walking with the donkey. Then... Some few passerbys, they start, they were laughing and they saying, what is this? See them? They have a donkey. They have a donkey. One of them should be sitting. No, they should be one. They're not using the donkey. And all the other things. These guys overheard. They heard, oh, okay. Uh, then uh, finally, okay. Then uh, she got him on the donkey and the father was walking alongside. Then uh, after they went a little farther, some people said, whoa, see, what, what, what kind of a young girl she is. Father is walking and she's sitting comfortably on the donkey. What is this? Father and daughter looked at each other and uh, she said, okay, okay, dad, why don't you, why don't you sit on the donkey? I'll walk. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What these guys are saying is correct. I'm young. You are the person who is, hey, Papa, a bad job. Why don't you, dad, why don't you sit on the donkey? And then finally, this man got up on the donkey. The girl was walking. He was going for a little more a distance. There were some two women. Two women who were seeing all this. Hey, take a look at this. What is this? Isn't it making that young girl walk? What is? What kind of a father is he? That young girl. Oh, I feel so sorry for that girl. The father. Father should be walking. What kind of a father? What kind of a very bad role model he is? Then uh, they were really confused what to do. Okay. Then what they did was, when they, after hearing that, both of them climbed on the donkey. 
both of them claimed that the donkey and they were going and then there were a group of people who were saying, this is animal atrocity. This is cruelty on animal. How can two, two people climb on a donkey? What? Don't they have common sense? What are these kind of people doing and all this? These guys are like really amazed. What exactly do? Uh, yes, it looks like little two of us is too much. It looks like that only. Then what they did is okay. They picked up the donkey and they were carrying. They both are picking up the donkey and they were carrying the donkey. More people are laughing. What? what? Two donkeys are carrying another donkey. Who carries the donkey? <laughs> Who carries the donkey? What kind of people they are? By this time, they were uh, crossing a bridge and they had, they had had it enough. They looked at the, this thing, bridge. They, they were water break. They threw the donkey in the water. <laughs> okay, they threw the donkey in the water. Went empty-handed. Continued their journey empty-handed. And they obviously threw the donkey, got rid of the donkey. And then finally went home. Fun story, simple story. What did we learn? Coach, hmm. what if we are going to talk and uh, talk bad about us? So, we, whatever we do now, people will talk and we, you know they'll keep that the chain and they'll keep talking something or the other, whatever we do. So, it's better to do something which we like and which we think is the best one for us. Wonderful, wonderful. Are there somebody in your family like you both have taken up psychology and your mother is also there. Are there people in your family who spoke, they said, no, 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 they should have done this. They should have done this. Are there people like that? It is normal. Anything else? What else did you learn? So I would, uh, it's a wonderful answer there. I would not say, some, I would not say people, I would say some people. Isn't it? Rather than generalizing NLP, we have a language called some people, not all the people, isn't it? Yes. So what is that we learn? Come on. Nice. Some people will always speak. Correct? No. Some set of people will always be having objections. Yeah. What else? You can never satisfy or make everybody happy. So we have to think what is appropriate to us, what is needed for us, and we have to do it. Wonderful. Even uh, Shwetlana just typed that uh, you can't keep everybody happy, you can't satisfy everybody. You need to see what is the best value that you can add. Yes. Wonderful. But isn't that the conflict that happens? Because we have been told the opposite uh, while growing up. You have to be. Do you all remember this one thing which has been said? Which has been said, be a good boy. Be a good girl. And you continue to be a good boy and a good girl for the rest of the life. Wanting to please others. Correct, Yavi? Raghavan sir, isn't it? To be a good boy, to be a good uh, put, uh, yes, Shwetla are very good in typing. Why don't you open up and speak? Yes, we have been always told to take care of others, say, make sure others are comfortable and complete life gets over in taking care of others, isn't it? Yeah, at the end, finally realize what happened, what are the things I did for myself. Oh, once I was thirsty, I drank water on my own. Wow, what a way how we live life. Isn't it? What did you guys learn? Come on. Yeah. Yavi, what did we learn? The criticisms have no end. Sorry? Ah, uh, yeah, criticism, criticism never come to an end. Wonderful. There are some set of people, whatever you do, whatever are actions, people will criticize you. Isn't it correct? Yeah. Sorry? Ekta? Sorry? 
rather than changing on others for you. Uh, uh, sorry, Ekta, could you come a little closer? Ah. We should stay on our point. Like, whatever we want to do, we should stay on it. We should not like, uh, keep changing on others' position or point. But how does how do you know that you are right? How do you, that, that is where is the challenge. No, correct, Siddhi, isn't it? While growing up, we are always told. We are always told to do this, do this, do this. Do we really have the decision-making capacity, Ekta Coach, to really think and that, yes, this is my decision? Correct, Ekta Coach, this is my decision. I will stick by it. How often does that happen? Do we really, can we do really do, do that? And uh, because from childhood, what, this is how it is supposed to be do. This is how you're supposed to sit. This is how you're supposed to hold your spoon. This is how you're supposed to wear your left shoe on the left, right shoe on the right. So by the time we keep growing and we reach to a certain age where we become a little more thinkers, we have been told so many things what to do and not to do that there is a decision paralysis. Isn't it? I'm just my just adding my point. That at some time, we are only made to fit in. This is what you are in the society. Correct? Isn't it? Yeah. What do you guys think? Your views. Coach. Yeah. Don't get influenced by others. You, uh, If you want to do something, just do it. Don't get influenced. Wonderful. But how? How can you not get influenced? It's, the world is such a powerful influence. Isn't Coach, it? Coach, like just uh, by ignoring them. Whatever they say, they talk anything. You just have to ignore like That's job. But how do you know that whatever you are doing is good for you or is are morally right, ethically right, legally right? Correct, no, Yavi. How do you know that whatever that you have chosen to do is morally, legally, and ethically right? How? Coach. Yes. Coach, we can ask our parents also, no? Yeah, that's what we can ask our parents. No doubt about it. And that is what generally we do. But how do you know that that is the best for you? Coach. Yes. Believe in instinct. Come again? Believe in instinct. Uh, believe in your instincts. Okay, your instinct, whatever is your instinct, the gut feeling that you have. Ah, yes, Raghavan sir is coming. Uh, till date, my parents have been telling me, be a good boy, be a good girl. And I have listened to them. And I am a happy man today. I am a happy man today because I listened to them. They told me, do this, do, don't do this. And that gave me a right path all along. I'm very happy for that. And I know my father or my mother will not criticize me if I do a right thing. Somehow I have been brought up like that and I'm very, very happy. I'm a very contented man today. I'm a big role model to more than 1,000 people in this country. Wonderful, sir. So, we should not just take it that people are criticizing us. Many a time, when people tell us, we must know why he is telling. What are the standards? So, blindly we should not say that uh, what you are saying is wrong, I will not accept, allow me to do the way I want to do. That is that. So, that is my thinking here. And when you come to this story, I still wonder why did this daughter and father went to buy a donkey? <laughs> I'm coming back here. I'm still trying to find out why did they buy? Are they farmers? Did they find a usefulness in the donkey or not? Now, why I am coming back to the story here is find out the purpose of your action. Find out the actual objective for your 
doing certain things. Does your action fulfill that objective? Is very very important. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah. Happy morning, sir. Everything boils down to that very first step. Thank you, Raghavan, sir, bringing down. So whatever you guys are doing, figure out your purpose. That's the reason why I end every day in the morning rituals is live purposefully, live powerfully. Otherwise, you don't have power. You give your power to everybody. If you do not find your purpose for your thoughts, if you don't find the purpose to your actions, your behaviors, you will always be criticized or you will always be made fun of or always you will question your own decisions. If you find your purpose, it all comes down to that particular story. Why did these people wanted to buy the donkey in the first place? They were not very sure. If they knew they were bought the donkey for a farm, farm land, if they bought a donkey for, they were washermen. They were people into washing. They were like dhobis and they needed the donkey to carry. They were people who will, uh, donkeys will carry the load. What is the purpose of the donkey? If that, if you are very, very clear, that's the reason why so, if you know the purpose of your action or your existence, the purpose, that's the reason why we do the goal part. And once that is clear, then there will be always some sort of people who will appreciate you. There are some people who will criticize you. But you, when you know the purpose, you will leave purposefully and then you will leave powerfully. That's the reason why if you pay attention in the last, I always say in the last. Yeah, we always say in the last. Live purposefully, live powerfully. It is not live powerfully, live purposefully. Power comes only after your purposeness. Thank you, Raghavan, sir, for bringing that one particular right. That was the one question I wanted to ask everybody. Where, where, why did you need a donkey? So why are you doing? Uh, Yavi, why are you doing whatever you are doing? If you have chosen to be a pilot, why? Otherwise, there will be somebody who will ask. And you will always be doubtful about your decision. Correct, Yavi? You should have ethically, morally, legally right. You should know that and then you will stick behind it. Correct? Siddhi, you should be more, you should be 100% sure what you want in your life and what exactly. Otherwise, there will be definitely people who will influence you and uh, you can't ignore them. Why? Because you have no decisions. You have no thought process behind it. Correct, isn't it? If you are clear, I want this and you know it's legally, Ethically, morally, you will keep going for it. Okay. So let's do this one success principle. It's also once you have a target, everybody says this. Once you have a target, do whatever it takes legally, morally, ethically to live, powerful, live purposefully and live powerfully. So that this is an NLP power. Once you have a target, you should make sure that you're legally, ethically, morally right towards it and then you'll be the best decision maker in terms of every day, every action, every behavior. Okay, now we have to get into our Vajrasana. So wonderful, nice, funny story. Yes. So please really go on. Thank you, Raghavan sir. Too. Yes. We'll give a big round of applause to Raghavan sir ji. Find out your purpose more than anything else. That will put you in the right track and you will continue to be in control of your thoughts, your actions, your behaviors. Yeah. Let's begin with Gyan Mudra, a very short meditation. 30 seconds. Alternate nasal breathing, left in, right out, right in, left out. Be breathing. 
six of them. Um, 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 let's begin with energizer we'll do a quick uh, round start is slow high speed high energy yes lock your arms thank yourself thank yourself that you believe in working on your purpose thank yourself that you believe to be ethically morally and legally right and keep working on your purpose thank you thank you thank you so much thank you so much you believe to keep working on your own self based on your moral compass thank you thank you thank you thank you yourself thank you yourself from head to toe and toe to head truly blessed Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank the two lovely sisters. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Mom. So grateful to you for ensuring that I am a very good decision maker, very good decision taker, and a very good PR or billion problem solver. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for giving me this wonderful, always asking me the right questions, which has made me inquisitive, made me curious. Thank all the teachers who added on to this. Thank you, thank you, coaches, mentors, trainers, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, family member. Thank you, Asta. Thank you, Tej. Thank you so much. I'm so blessed to have you both. Thank they all your near ideas, your family, your relatives, everybody, your friends, the entire humanity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving this wonderful belief system that we have to be decision makers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. As you can thank, thank the entire humanity. Thank you, Mother Nature. Mother Nature, you are so amazing, so awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, God. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you, Supreme Soul, for giving me a soul, soul with a purpose, soul with a why. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now that we have found our, uh, we have completed our gratitude, visualize a beam of white light traveling from the universe, a light of abundance that is coming from the universe as it enters our head, enters our face, as it travels down to our neck, our shoulders, our chest, as it travels down to the toe, head to toe, we are purified. We are that we get rid of all the negativity, all the toxins. We are energized. We are completely powerful. We are feeling amazing. We are feeling awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Head to toe, toe to head. Every single cell is rejuvenated and revitalized. Thank you so much. This white light will stay with us for the next 24 hours. Motivate us, guide us, help us move towards a purpose or help us find a purpose. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now coming to the most important part of the morning ritual is... Visualizing our goals, visualizing our purpose. We have just now completed gratitude and visualization. And it's the right time. Your mind is primed to visualize our goals and our purpose. Start. Visualizing a goal and your purpose on a daily basis makes you be powerful, makes you purposeful. Yes, slowly let go of your hands. Hands on your heart. Let's do the declaration. I am focused. I'm disciplined. I'm strong. I'm powerful. I'm wonderful. I'm purposeful. I'm powerful. I'm intelligent. I'm genius. I do legally. I'm morally. I'm ethically. Right. I'm wonderful. 
I'm fabulous. I'm strong. I'm committed. I'm amazing. I'm born to win. I'm born to lead. I am a superb human. Then drop clap. One, two, three, four. Oh, whoosh. Second one. And finally, the last one. Slowly open your eyes and welcome an amazing day in our life. Live powerfully and live purposefully. Yes, you are a superb human. Yes, live purposefully and powerfully. Yes, <laughs> have a great day. Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Sachin and I am a life coach. I use games, activities and exercises to teach young champions valuable life skills and study skills which help them become number one in studies and number one in life. Continue to watch our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel and please do comment. It will help us and inspire us to make more good content like this. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Also do visit our website. Thank you so much.